welcome back. Here they have the R code and the data files already open. The data file shows the coded variables x1 and x2, the natural variables time and temperature, and the response y, the yield. First, we need to load the RSM library. Let's now run the str function to check the file structure. We can see that all the variables are numeric, so we are good to go ahead with the analysis. We are going to use two main functions for this analysis. First, we are going to assign in the DOE opt04 data file x1 and x2 as coded data by using the relationship between them we have just seen in the previous video x1 as time minus 35 divided by 5, and x2 as temperature minus 155 divided by 5. The next step will be to run the regression model using the RSM function. We are going to build a model for the response yield y as a first order model fo for x1 and x2, and a two-way interaction, TWI, between x1 and x2. Let's run the codes. The RSM function output shows that are significant x1 and x2 from the first order model, and that the two-way interaction is not significant. The p-value of 0.81 indicates that the lack of fit is not significant, meaning that the linear model is adequate to fit the data. The model also presents a high R-squared and a low p-value. As the interaction was not significant, we can remove it from the model and run it again. Now all regression coefficients are significant and the lack of fit continues to be not significant. This new regression has a higher adjusted R-squared and a lower p-value compared to the previous one, and this simplified model still has a higher squared, 0.941, and all regression coefficients are significant. As the final step, let's build the contour plot for the model as a function of x1 and x2, the coded variables. In this plot, we can see that the yield increases with both temperature and time. However, the yield seems to be far from the optimum. We don't see a region of maximum yield. However, we can see the path of the maximum increase in the yield. This path of the maximum increase in the response is called the direction of the steepest ascent. In the next lessons, we are going to see how to calculate and how to follow the direction of the steepest ascent to the vicinity of the maximum response. Take care and see you shortly.